Hey, I'm Ryan and this is Off-Road Addiction. Thanks for joining us for episode four. We're gonna do the X-Jack. Probably seen the X-Jack on the internet, possibly in the magazines, never really seen it operational. So what we're gonna do is we pulled this bad boy off the shelf, we're gonna take it apart and we're gonna lay out all the products and then we're gonna demo it for you. So here we are with the X-Jack. We're gonna unpack it for you. So it's about, I don't know, 15 pounds maybe. It's really not that bad. It comes with this fancy case. This is the actual jack itself, deflated. Got some fancy traction, kind of looks like a football cleat or something. And then we have our fittings. So that's the jack portion. We got this mat here. So they're saying that's gonna go on top just to protect the jack from anything, anything sharp underneath the vehicle. And then uh, if you think your truck's got more stuff or it's in a bad spot, you can actually grab your floor mats and uh, put those on top too, just to protect that jack. It's like we've got the uh, exhaust hookup that powers the jack. Got some fancy gloves. What else is in here? It's like Christmas. Just a little warranty statement disclaimer there. Laminated instructions, so good to hold on to those guys. And, Looks like a patch repair kit, just in case you do take a huge bite out of this jack somehow. So good to know. And that's it. So yeah, we're gonna unpack this properly, set it up on the Jeep, and uh, pump this fucker up. All right, so here's the X-Jack. We, uh, we got it underneath the truck, pulled out that mat for protection. We found a flat spot, one of our skid plates. So this truck has a ton of drop travel. So you'll see it elevated quite a bit, but if we were to really, really got to pick it up to change the tire, we probably have to add some floor mats and some different things here just to give us a little more um, extension. So basically, we got a couple of these guys. Well, there's another one of these. You just pick the one that works for your exhaust that fits over the end. This is the actual funnel that's gonna, you're gonna drive your exhaust tip into here. On my truck, I just have a dump. So my muffler's here and my exhaust is right through here. So for this, if you guys can see that, I'm just gonna take this and all you do is push it on and then you start the truck and that would inflate the bag. So we got this line, it's gonna hook to the jack right here. Just kind of keyways in, just tighten her up. And then you make sure that this guy's not kinked. It's nice to have two people to do this really that we've learned. So. Uh, we got the other Ryan. He's gonna fire up the truck for us and then he's gonna jump underneath it I'm gonna watch the position of the jack And he's gonna stick that end on the exhaust and uh, we're gonna get some action here All right, so we're getting there. Just gonna keep that line from kink. So obviously this is all filled with exhaust from the truck and uh, it's moving. Yeah, it's tilted a little bit. We've noticed it is a bit tricky to get this thing completely centered. So he's taking that off the exhaust, lots of back pressure there. But it's it's pretty full. It's like a dirty dodgeball right now. But uh, yeah, so you could shut the truck off. I don't recommend you jumping under here or anything like that, but um, it'll hold air and we can release the air through here. So we're up, truck's off. We've gained quite a distance, like we've, we've extended the suspension quite a bit. 
Uh, so if you had a short arm truck or something with less drop, you'd probably get away with that no problem. Um, with our truck, like I said, just a little bit more suspension drop. So we'd have to really manipulate this thing to get it to work for us. So there it is. Totally full of exhaust. Nothing in here, it's off. So if we wanted to release it, we would turn that valve. So you just turn it. I would just do it really slow, you know, because the faster you go, the more violent the drop's gonna be. So take it easy. Maybe don't breathe it in right away. Like, so from this point, I can probably just, you can see all the exhaust coming out of there. But you know, I'm, it's kind of a neat machine. It might have its purpose. Maybe you just use the high lift jack. Maybe you got this for extra, just in case you're in some weird environments. But that's it, and that's how it works. Basically, we're putting this on here, running that to the exhaust, firing up the truck, pumping the exhaust through to that, raising the vehicle. So simple, it's a little tricky, but uh, all in all, kind of a neat idea. All right, that's it for episode four. We have a massive amount of exhaust streams in the showroom. The X-Jack works. Tell us what you think, hashtag off-road addiction, or email us info at offroad-addiction.com. Thanks.